in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this ribbon swirl friendship bracelet. You will only need 12 strings for this bracelet, and for the measurements, I do about 36 inches for this one because these two main colors definitely eat up quite a bit of string. So my main color here is light green, and then I'm going to border it with this darker green and then black for the background. So I'm going to be segment knotting this in a really odd way, and so your bracelet might be a little weird up here at first, but I chose to segment knot it in this way so that if you need to follow the video again from the beginning, then you easily can. So from the left to the center, I am ordering my strings one, one, two, three, three, two. And then from right to the middle, I'm going two, one, one, three, three, two. First, we are going to take our outermost left strand and do forward knots on the next four of these strings to the right of it. So we have our working strand here, pick up the base string to the right of it and do a four shape and pull that through. And then do it twice for a full forward knot. And then you will repeat that three more times. And then you will come back to your outermost left strand again, and this time you will be doing forward knots on the next three strings to the right of it. And then again, come back to your outermost left strand, and you will only do forward knots now on the next two strings to the right of it. And then finally, in this little section over here, you're going to take your outermost left strand and do a forward knot just on the string to the right of it. And then you are going to locate your second color, your border color, whatever that is for you, which will essentially be in the middle of your strings. And you're going to take the left string from that little group. And you're going to do five backward knots on the next five of these strings to bring it over to the left side. So our working strand is on the right. Pick up the base strand to the left of it and do a P shape. Pull that through and then do it a second time to make your backward knot. And then you will do that four more times. And then you're going to go all the way to the right side to find your first color. And they'll be in a group like this. And you're going to take the left string from this little group here. And you're going to do backward knots on the next eight of the strings to the left of your working strand. So you'll be doing 
backward knots all the way across up until the last strand. So don't knot onto this one. And then you'll come back to that second first strand of our group that I was talking about, which will be your second strand from the right. And again, do eight backward knots on the next eight of your strands to the left of it. So you won't be doing backward knots on these last two strands here. And then while we are over in this corner here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my outermost left strand, which will be my second color, and I'm just gonna do two forward knots on the next two of these strands, which will be my first color. And then we just want to close up this rectangle here, like you can see that we've done up here. Take your outermost right strand and do backward knots on all of these strings up until our last two here. And now we are going to work on our right ribbon section here. So you want to take your first two strands on the right side, take the left strand of those two and do a forward knot onto the string to the right of it. Locate your second color, which will be the third string from the right and do a forward knot on the next two strings to the right of it. And then on our fourth string from the right, it is going to be our first color. So you want to take that and do forward knots on the next three strings to the right of it. And then you'll pick up the second strand of your first color, which will be your fifth string from the right. And then you'll do forward knots on the next four strings to the right of it. And then you will come back to this area where you will find the strand of your second color and you are going to do forward knots onto the next five strings to the right of it to bring it all the way over to the right.
And now we are going to focus on our four middle strands, which will be your background color. And what you're going to do is with the middle two strands, you will take the left strand of that and do forward knots on these next two strings to the right of it. So only on top of the other background colors. And then you will take the very left of those middle strands and just do forward knots on the next two strings to the right of it again. And then you want to take your border colored strands and close up this section here. So you will have those strings to the very right and left of your background strand. So on the left side, we will take this string and do forward knots on the next two strings to the right of it. And then on the right side, you will take that string and do backward knots on the two strings to the left of it. And then you'll take your two center strands and just make a knot with them. I'm doing a forward knot, but it doesn't matter which knot you do because they are the same color. And that is the set complete. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.